July is here. A month of socks by Stephen Best. We are on the right. These socks are everything but normal. <laughs> yeah. And for someone who occasionally knits really classic looking and sleek socks, this is quite a journey. I picked out my colors based on some yarn that I already had in my stash and also by like an inspirational photo of some old socks from the 70s and 80s which were basically white with some stripes of teal, mustard and red. Behold my socks. I did pick these colors out because I was hoping for a little bit a classic design. Oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> because nothing about Steven Vest is classic. I did finish the glue one. It's Monday evening and I finally finished because I had one free day this week. So I just did nothing and knitted my sock. And it's really lovely, if you look at it, it's quite circusy. And on the, on the other side, where we have the eye court, we have a little Gryffindorf moment going on. So, Gryffindor, here we come. It's nice, but I do have a few personal problems with this design and the first one is um, the eyelets and the chevrons they stretch out quite a lot while these welds do not and I'm afraid they will not plug out nicely I did have quite a similar textural problem with socks the last year Unfortunately, there's a passage in the design on the on the leg part where we have reverse stockinette stitch and unfortunately it never blocks out nicely for me. It just kind of bunches up and I'm afraid this will block out way too much. I'm afraid it will stretch out with some wear. Yeah, it was a first for me. I did see some socks knitted this way, but I actually never did. I am a knitter that has to have quite a clear vision about the design and the actual product that I'm making. That's why I do actually participate in these knit-alongs, because it makes me feel not in control and it feels sometimes nice. <laughs> And sometimes I just keep up <laughs> midway. This will be fun, but I am quite worried. I can't lie. Uh, also, it was getting knitted up quite nicely. It wasn't flying off the needles, especially these welds, when you had to knit them. <laughs> and basically create this shape that was not nice i guess nobody likes it it's just not not comfortable on the hands and also what i'm worried about is is the welds actually these ridges and the pops of color basically that we have and that's because it's it's quite 3d and uh, while it's a nice tactile thing. I'm not sure I do want it on my socks. And I do hope it's not going to translate also to the foot, because I will not be able to wear it. But just the sensation on my leg, it's, it's no good. <laughs> no, 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 no. I did knit the size 3, although when we got to the chevrons near to nearing the end 
I did make only 10 or even 9 Yes, I did 9 chevrons instead of 12 It would have been just too loose on my leg and I knew that I still have the eye cord kind of which does add up some millimeters, yeah and also it will stretch out quite significantly the pops of color on the wrong side they are amazing i do love them and it was quite nice to look at it from the wrong side yeah so i have no idea what's going on next in the clue too but yeah, we will see tomorrow, it's dropping and unfortunately I'm at work, so I will not watch it, I will knit along with it. Oh, yeah, quite brave of me, huh? since I do not like any surprises. So, cannot wait for tomorrow. I will start to knit at approximately 3 p.m. and this week will be quite a doozy. We are met with quite a heat wave here in Germany, although it's not as bad as other parts of Europe, but still, <laughs> it is quite warm and at work it's it's terrible just to exist no ac none non-existent so we are sweating away but at least my washing dries in a few hours i hope you have a nice monday or any day of the week that you are watching this on and i will see you when i finish the clue too so Okay.